This is Daria Shabbat with Corporate Profile reporting on the news for Tuesday, July 16th, 2013. Today in the news, Mexico captures the world's most notorious drug trafficker, sweet snacks are linked to bowel cancer, and finally a kosher lube is on the market for religious Jews. Mexican Marines have captured one of the world's most notorious drug gang leaders in a raid near the U.S. border. Miguel Angel Trevino Morales, 40 years old, head of the brutal Zetas cartel, was intercepted with two lieutenants in a pickup truck near Nuevo Laredo. Trevino Morales, infamous for his brutality, was wanted on both sides of the border for ordering massacres and running drugs on a global scale. Morales is also believed to have controlled squads of killers who operated in the U.S. state of Texas, and U.S. authorities had offered a $5 million reward for any information leading to his capture making him one of the world's most wanted drug traffickers. Researchers at Aberdeen and Edinburgh universities looked at the diets of 2,000 bowel cancer patients and compared them to the food and drink intake of a similar-sized healthy population. They examined more than 170 foods, including fruit, vegetables, fish, and meat, as well as a high-energy snack foods such as chocolates, nuts, and crisps, and fruit drinks, including fruit squash. Those studies identified two distinct eating patterns. One was high in fruit, vegetables, and other healthy foods, and the other, known as the Western pattern, was high in meat, fat, and sugar. The healthy dietary pattern was found to be associated with a decreased colorectal cancer risk, while the Western dietary pattern was found to be associated with an increased risk. A West Coast manufacturer of personal lubricants says it's become the first company to have its slippery stuff blessed for use by by religious Jews. Trig Laboratories announced yesterday that the Rabbinical Council of California had certified 95% of its wet brand products as kosher after an intensive two-year review. As part of the process, the company said it submitted its entire 52,000-square-foot plant in California to strict kosherization procedures. This is really great news because currently only three lubricants are certified kosher, but all three are industrial products for greasing hydraulics and machinery used in food preparation. I'm Daria Shabbat with Corporate Profile. Make sure to visit our website at corporateprofile.com for more top headlines from around the world, as well as interesting business profiles. Post your comments, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.